welcome back to another video. I'm Roger, and today we're going to be doing a blink map guide on Warmhaven. This is actually requested by one of my subscribers. His name is Ideal Games. I'll put that comment on screen now. It's a pretty good map. I'm excited to show it to you guys. It's pretty simple, very symmetrical. Both sides are very even, but there are some spots that I'm very excited to show you that I love to use. Just easier little places you can get around. There's some tight corridors that might be a little tricky to get through, so I'm going to show you that a little bit and how to really time your blinks just so you can get around to the best of your ability. But without further ado, I say we just jump right into it. Okay, so starting with A side here, we're gonna go from left to the right, and we're gonna have four different starts for A side. So first one, we're gonna go towards B, do a short hop there, short blink, and then we're gonna aim through this crack right here and do a long blink as far as we can get. And then one more little short hop and do a short blink. Make sure you're looking down for that so you can get through that doorway. Then go right to B, you can look through there, or you can look up top if you want to. That's up to you. I prefer to just capture the flag, but again, that's your choice. Alright, so next up here is going to be the simplest start we have. We're just going to go straight to A site. So do a little running start, short blink, and then as long as blinks we can, and go straight on top of site. After that, you can go up to bridge, you can go towards B, whatever you want, but you're going to be the first one to site, so that's nice. Alright, next up we have a very interesting one. We're going to go towards the bridge here. Now you can do a short blink through there, and stick to the left here, aim up, get past that roof architecture, fly through, keep going straight, and you can take a peek across with your long range drop in. You could even keep pushing with your shotgun there, but that's your choice. Coming back here, I just want to show this to you guys. There's some interesting roof architecture here. You need to watch where you blink, or you're not going to make it. So you want to fly past like that, so you got to look. It comes right here, and you got to just make sure you're not going to bump your head on that, or you're not going to go far. Stick on this wall, that's going to be a big help. So, come around here, come through, and blink right over. And as you can see there, and I'll show you in a second, there's this vine right here. If you look at that vine, it's the perfect marker for flying right past that and going straight where you want to go. So, look at that vine, and every time you're going to fly directly where you want. Okay, so this is going to be our last start for A side here. We're going to go outside. Do as long as a blink as you can without hitting your head. Go to the bottom of this ramp, keep running forward. Make sure you get to the bottom of this ramp and then do a jump and a really quick blink. We're going to land right there every time. Take out your ranged weapon, pick up a bridge, peek over there, you get a nice little angle into their spawn. Or you can look up in the uh, window if you want to. I just want to show you this wall is what we're hopping over. Don't be afraid to hop over that. You're always going to make it right here, okay? Your blink has a long enough distance, you're always going to make it there. You can even go back just like that. So again, come through, just have faith in yourself that you're going to make it over that. And there you go. Easy as that, then take whatever peak you want to. Alright, so starting on C spawn, we're gonna go from the right to the left, starting at B side. So, going to B, uh, be careful with these things up here, you don't wanna bump your head. I just did that, and I do this sometimes, you wanna be careful. Go right through this little hole right here. So, you're gonna run, jump through there, do a short blink, and then do as long a blink as you can all the way to this corner. You can slide if you want to, or keep sprinting, it's up to you. Do a quick jump and then a blink looking down to get through that doorway and slide around to B. Again, you can peek down that doorway, or you can peek up top if you want to, or you can just cap. That's all up to you. Now this is going to be our simplest start, just like on A side. Run forward, short blink, and then another little short blink, and you're right on top of the flag. Alright, so next up we're going to do bridges. It holds you to a fairly symmetrical map. So it's basically the same thing as the other side, but it is a little different. Come over here, whiz by that top of the roof there as best you can. Keep going forward. Uh, we're going to look over here. Take out your pulse rifle, sniper, whatever you want if you want long range. Or you could even do a third blank and keep running forward with a shotgun and really get in there if you're a crazy guy. But I, I wouldn't recommend that is how I'll say it. But coming back, I do want to show you the uh, architecture of the roof here. So you want to hop over that, and you got to be careful of this. Now there's not like a vine or anything on this side as a marker, but you just got to be careful of it, you know? So you're going to want to stick over here and keep right there. So kind of use the top of that point of the gooey thing there as your marker. So if you do it like that, you'll be just fine. Come back here, just make sure you don't go too far to the left. If you're too far to the left, okay, on top of the little glowy part, you're going to hit the roof and you're not going to get a much distance. So. Stick to the right side of the wall, and you'll be looking good. Okay, so last start on Seaside here. Pretty simple. We're going to go outside, do a little late blink there, get to the bottom of the ramp. It's just like the other side. We're going to come down here, and we're going to blink forward right over this wall. Land about the same spot every single time. Take out your ranged weapon, peek up top, 
peek up back there to where they're gonna come down, or you can even peek up towards window. They'll come down there too. It's just really anywhere they're gonna come. You know, just be careful because it's a very open area and you're gonna be getting aimed at too. So be ready for that. Again, we can go right back. We're always gonna land right here, but if we wanna hop back that way, very easy. Not much of a challenge, just always understand you're, you're gonna land there, you know. There is land that you will get on every time, so just believe in yourself. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to show you how to rotate from B over to the sides through these hallways. Come through here, do a little short pop, and then do a blink looking at the ground. Come through here, do as far a blink as you can. You can look back here, people love to stand there, and they also love to stand over near bridge. And if you want to be even more aggressive, once you rotate through there, you can either cap the point, or you can rush with a shotgun or a close range weapon, and get up here and take anybody else out that's up there. Now let me show you in the hallways here, because I know some of you guys have trouble getting through here sometimes, where these doorways are low, but the ceilings are very high, so... We can make things happen here. It's not that bad. You just need to know when to jump and then when to blink. If you do that, you might kind of hit your head in the doorways and mess up a bit, but there's ways to do it. So let me come back here and I'll show you. So just jump after you get through the doorway, jump, look at the ground and blink. If you're looking at the ground, you're gonna go way more forward than up. We weren't gonna get any upwards momentum when we're looking down. So make sure you're looking down. If you're looking too far up, and this is gonna happen. You're gonna hit the wall, you're gonna hit the roof, and you're gonna fall down and look like a klutz. So again, go through, jump, look at the ground, blink through, and you're gonna get that perfect distance without hitting anything, and you can keep rotating at full speed. All right, so this is our last little segment for this video. It's about this window here. This is a great place to rotate. It goes straight through from the outside of the map to the inside of the map, so it's a great place to make rotation. So if you go through here, take a little sprint and blink right up. You can do a slide in and get right here, which is a big point of contention. People like to play a range here and look across the aisle to the other side and go to their site or go down to the bottom towards B. Now that little part right there, I'm gonna show you from down here too. That's where you wanna aim. If you aim there, when you blink up, you're gonna perfectly fly through and slide right into whoever's standing there. So keep that in your mind right where it is. Blink up, slide in, and boom, you're there. I'm gonna show you that on the other side too when I go down here in a second. If you do that, you're gonna get in there perfectly every time, and it's a very simple blink. Just make sure you're hitting your blink at the apex of your jump, so jump up, and right there at the top of your jump, do your blink, and you're gonna land right here where people are gonna be standing, and you'll be able to take them out. You can keep going, shoot them there, or do whatever you want. Well, I hope I was able to show you something new, whether it was a nice new path to take from your spawn, or how to get through those tricky little corridors much better. I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload in the future. I've been really enjoying talking with you all in the comments lately, and it means a lot to me that I see several of you routinely coming back and watching every single video I publish and interacting with them. You know, it makes a huge impact, and it really shows YouTube that people are actually enjoying it, and it shows me that you're enjoying it, which I truly appreciate, so thank you for that. I don't have too much time to play nowadays, so whenever I am able to get on Destiny, I like to put my time into going and making whatever kind of content I can because I truly enjoy making it, so hopefully you guys really enjoy watching it because that's all I'm here for is just to hopefully spread a little knowledge and entertainment in there too. But uh, I think it's time for me to wrap it up today. So thank you for watching. Have a great day, Guardians.